When an interviewer inquired about his wife Nicole Kidman after her mother Janelle passed away two weeks ago, Keith Urban abruptly stopped the journalist. The news of Janelle Kidman's 84th death came just hours before her daughter Nicole, 57, won the Venice Film Festival's Best Actress Prize for her performance in Baby Girl. The Australian actress was compelled to abandon the Venice Film Festival in order to spend more time with her family in her hometown of Sydney. In an interview with the reporter that was released on Friday, Keith gave scant details on how his wife and their family were coping with the heartbreaking news. Yes, everyone is doing well, dude. The 56-year-old answered, thank you for asking. The writer was then silenced by the country musician, who declined to discuss Nicole's emotional state or his mother-in-law's passing. He went on, I just don't want to give you guys a headline about my wife, Ed. Janelle passed away a few hours before Nicole, on the last day of the Venice Film Festival, was named Best Actress for her performance in Baby Girl. Director Helena Rain read Nicole's speech upon her victory. Today I arrived in Venice to find out shortly that my beautiful, brave mother Janelle and Kidman has just passed, Nicole said. This honor is for her. She made me. She sculpted me. And I have to go to my family because I'm in shock. The collision of life and art is heartbreaking. And I am incredibly thankful to Helena for allowing me to utter her name to each and every one of you. My heart is crushed. We cherish each and every one of you. A week later, Nicole broke her quiet and shared numerous never-before-seen images of the grandmother on Instagram, along with a heartbreaking note. The perfect couple actress expressed gratitude to her millions of followers and admirers in a post, thanking them for their sympathy during their time of loss. Nicole said in the joint statement, My sister and I, along with our family, want to thank you for the outpouring of love and kindness we have felt this week. Every letter we have received from people who respected and loved our mother has meant more to us than words can ever say. Our entire family is grateful that you have respected our privacy while we look out for one another. After briefly returning to Sydney to provide temporary care for her mother, Nicole discussed her mother's health concerns in a January 2022 interview with the Fresh Air program. In the midst of the COVID-19 outbreak, she described how she had brought Janelle to the Art Gallery of New South Wales after hours to see the Matisse. Life and Spirit Exhibition, calling it a soothing balm. Our main purpose for coming down here is to care for my mother and make sure she is surrounded by her grandchildren, the woman stated. Fortunately, despite Omicron's recent nationwide outbreak, we managed to show her the Matisse exhibit at the gallery after hours. As someone whose mother has always encouraged me in the arts, I found it to be a calming solace. Last night, Matisse was a comforting bomb. Nicole and her mother Janelle have a very strong relationship for a long time, and Nicole has talked a lot about how her mother has helped her and influenced her career. Born in Honolulu, Nicole was reared in Sydney by Janelle and her late father, Anthony a psychologist who passed away in September 2014. The Moulin Rouge star and her younger sister Antonia grew up mostly in Sydney after visiting the United States. When Nicole was a youngster, she followed her dream of performing, and both of her parents helped her become well-known all over the world. Over the years, they continued to be intimately involved in her profession. Nicole recently acknowledged that she still sought counsel from her mother. The Big Little Lies actress revealed in November that although she worked with a number of stylists, she would frequently consult her mother Janelle for style guidance. Nicole added, My mother is still. She's so involved in what I wear, demonstrating their strong relationship. Although Nicole is well known for her bold style choices, she has said that her passion for clothing was initially encouraged by her mother and grandmother. I adore style. I've always had a thing for fashion she said as she spoke at the New York pop-up launch of Planet Omega. My mother and grandmother both had a passion for fashion and sewing when I was a young child. They have a fondness for exquisite attire. She said, they could make beautiful clothes. I observe them as they knit, crochet, and embroider. And I believe that you come to enjoy that when you watch the members of your household do that as a child. Nicole never held back when expressing her love for Janelle. On the occasion of her mother's 82nd birthday last year, she shared a heartfelt remembrance. She took to Instagram and wrote some heartfelt comments in the caption of a gallery of pictures she shared of her and her family having fun at a party with Janelle. Mom, happy birthday. 
We all adore you so much, Nicole wrote. While walking the Oscars red carpet in Los Angeles with her husband Keith Urban, she also took the time to wish her mother a happy birthday. Today is my mother's birthday. Mama, happy birthday. Nicole said, we love you so much, into the camera. When we returned to Sydney, we threw her a party. We love you, Mama, because she is our family's lifeblood. Nicole also mentioned missing her mother while living overseas in the U.S. in an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald in May 2020. A cup of tea and a sit on the balcony with mom would be amazing. I would love to talk about life and have her advise me on what to do, she remarked at the time. Nicole was devastated to learn that her father, Anthony, who was 75 years old, had passed away from a heart attack in September 2014. The two had a very strong relationship. The Oscar-winning actress had previously disclosed how badly her father's sudden death and a series of other losses had affected her. I was unexpectedly handed over to death. In 2020, she told the Sydney Morning Herald, I've just had people taken. I've not nursed someone through a slow death. Now since it's happening frequently, I'm so afraid of stating it out loud for fear that it may happen again. I'm still really afraid about that. 